Yeah, we're talking about a problem involving putting numbers into boxes and other shapes. And a shape is an arrangement of boxes that looks something like this. And I've got a certain number of boxes in the first row. So I have four boxes in the first row and, and two in the second row and one in the third row. And the rule is that these numbers must be decreasing. And the second rule is that the boxes are left justified. And that's it. That's the rule. Simple example would be this. Here's a, a square. Three boxes in the first row, three in the second row, and three in the third row. So the number of boxes in, a, in two rows can be the same. Another example of a shape would be something like this. This is something we call a staircase. Four and three and two and one. Another shape that's kind of interesting, it turns out, for my purposes, is where I have two rows of the same length. This would be the shape six, six. Well, we put numbers in them. And so maybe I can even do it with these shapes and show you exactly what we do. So in this first shape, we have seven boxes all together. So I take the numbers one, one to seven. The rules are that the, the numbers must be increasing along rows and increasing down columns. So one, three, six is increasing, two, five is increasing, and so forth. That's the, those are the rules. This is called a standard Young tableau. Young is a person. Yes, that's right. While I'm at it, the word a tableau just simply means an arrangement of numbers in a shape with no rules satisfying them. So for example, I can just do an example of a tableau that's not a standard Young tableau. I'll put the one here, and a, the two here, and the, the three here, and the four here, and the five, and the six and the seven, so these numbers are not increasing along rows and increasing down columns. So that's just called a tableau. And we're going to talk today about standard Young tableau. Here, I'll, I'll make a standard tableau, and actually while I make it, it's sort of important to understand what I'm doing while I'm making it, because I have to put a one in the upper left-hand corner. There's no choice about that. And then two has to go either here or here. I'll put it there. Three has to go either here or here at that point. I'll put it down here, maybe four here, five here, and if I stop before I'm finished, you can see that what's happening is that I'm building the shape. The shape is the three by three square, but I'm building it up cell by cell in terms of what I'm, what I'm getting is a sequence of subshapes. So right now, what I've done, I've created a tableau of this shape, but I'll finish it up now. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a standard tableau of that shape. I'll do one here quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's easy to do it because you just sort of build your way from the upper left-hand corner down to the bottom right-hand corner in this case. Are these hard to make? Are there lots of them? Are they rare? Are standard young tableaus common? Well, that's a good question because what I really want to talk about is how many there are, the, the problem of computing the number of standard tableau. What's kind of amazing is that we know very exact and precise answers to that question. So I'll tell you, for example, let's take this shape. The number of standard Young tableau, I'll abbreviate it as SYT, is 42. So I could systematically write down all 42 tableau and I, would, I could convince myself that was correct. But there's a formula for it, and the formula goes like this, and I'll show you how you do it. Is equal to, let's see, there's nine cells in this shape. So it's nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one divided by, that's nine factorial. And by the way, that's the number of ways of just filling this shape with the numbers in any manner whatsoever. So the total number of fillings of this, of this shape, which is what we've called a tableau, is nine factorial. It's this very large number uh, because there's nine choices for what to put here and eight for what to put there once you've decided on the first one and seven for what, you, what to put here once you've decided on these two, etc. So you get nine factorial quite easily. But if you are required the rules to be satisfied, then the number has to be reduced by something and I'm going to tell you exactly what it has to be reduced by. First of all, we take this shape and we fill them up with a bunch of other numbers and, we, and the numbers are constructed this way. I put a one here and then a two and then a three and then I go up four and then five and then I go down four and then three and then down two and then up three. And I divide this by, those num by the product of all those numbers. And the ratio of these two numbers is the number of standard Young tableau of this shape. Now let's just compute it. Let's see, this cancels, this cancels, these cancel. Uh, five cancels, four cancels, uh, three times two is six, uh, four cancels leaving two, three cancels leaving three, 
I've canceled everything and I say 3 times 2 times 7, which is 42. So that's how I got 42. Now I guess the million dollar question is, what on earth are these numbers? That's the question. The big question is, well, there are two, there are two questions. One, where did these numbers come from? They just came out of the blue. What's going on? And secondly, why is it true? And why is it true generally? So what's going to happen is that not only am, am I going to, well, I have shown you a formula for computing a standard tableau of shapes like this, but it's going to work for any shape. So I have to tell you what these numbers are. And these numbers are called the hook numbers. Hook numbers are the following. You have a shape. I'll, I'll do it sort of schematically first. Every cell has a hook number. You can see, for example, here, every cell had a hook number. How did I get this hook number? The answer is that I, first of all, computed the hook associated with that cell. And the hook is everything that you get by going down from it and to the, and to the right, and, the, and the, the square itself. So you get this sort of L-shaped, inverted L-shaped thing, which we call a hook. So that's the hook associated with that cell. And so, for example, we can take this cell here. What's its hook number? Well, its hook consists of everything to the right and everything below, and so there are three cells all together, so the hook number is three. This has hook number four since, because I have one, two, three, four. This has hook number five, so I have one, two, three, four, five, etc. So that's what I was doing when I, when I went through that crazy process of filling the square up with numbers. I was computing the hook numbers. Actually, so the main result now is that for any shape, the kinds of shapes I was telling you about before, not just these special square shapes, uh, the formula is exactly this. You take the n factorial, where n is the number of cells, and divided by the product of all of the hook numbers. All right, so let's, let's do one more example. So here is the shape. That's a 4, 2, 1 shape. Yes, exactly. Well, first of all, n is 7. So the number of standard Young, young Tableau is going to be uh, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by the product of the hook lengths, and so what are they? I'm going to start putting the hook lengths at each cell. This is what we call a corner cell. Maybe I should use that term now because it's going to come up again. Uh, it's, it's a cell with hook length 1. Hook, its hook number is 1, and that's a corner cell, and that's also a corner, corner cell. This one has hook number 2 because the hook only goes to the right. There's two cells in it. This has hook number 4. This has hook number 3. This has hook number, what is it, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so the, f the formula says that I should take 7 times 6 da, 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 down to, to 1 and divide by 6 times 4 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 1 times 1. And so let's do that computation. I'll cancel the 3s, cancel the 4s, cancel the 2s, cancel the 6s. And it looks like we get 7 times 5, or 35. Number of standard Young Tableau of this shape is 35. I'm always surprised by how high these numbers are for such simple shapes. You asked a good question before. If you fix the number of cells, which ones are the biggest? Which ones give you the largest number? That's an interesting and a, qu a rather difficult question that people do know the answer to, but it's too complicated to talk about today. This video was filmed at the Mathematical Sciences Research Institute, in that room there actually, but the interview didn't stop here. If you'd like to go deeper into the world of tableaus and hook numbers, including some details about how to prove all this, the interview continues over at our second channel, Number File 2. It's actually something that's not very well understood. No one has really explained satisfactorily why this method should give the correct answer, even though the method itself is blatantly false.